Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You should have jumped, asswipe. Shit. What are the other signs then? wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> you show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. 
He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Well... I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Nathan and Frank together? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. 
Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> Holy shit, what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Holy shit, what do you want now? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> what can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um... Higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. <coughs>
What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh. uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. My work here is done here, Frank. My work here is done here, Frank. I have the keys. Time to bounce. Thanks for the help, dickhead. Nice Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer brain. Zip, nada, nothing. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nat. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Let's take it. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. 
Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. How can somebody live like this? Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? I cannot believe... I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. This is almost as good as a set of keys. No prize here. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Oh shit, the knife is broken. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. Ooh, Frank's stash. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! 
Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Camp, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in crepes? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat, how? We, 
I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real- Man, I remember Chloe reading this. We'll cook here. But not after today. I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her- Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Know that. Joyce loves William so much. Of course, the snow doe belonged to William. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Chloe was so into manga. Oh, nice hair. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get what a, a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am I? I know they never took that big vacation. You mean your college fund? Keys. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Ryuk here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But no now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to... Could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Boom. Disconnected. Hey, honey. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a... making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. 
Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. What charm. a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Going to be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so long. Long. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella?
Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. <laughs> 